Only two more reviews. One more review, technically, if you count it. Um, tell Deadpool and Wolverine. So I thought I'd review the Deadpool movies. So Deadpool 1 and 2. You'll get uh, Deadpool 2 tomorrow. So I gotta get a new shirt for that. Anyhow, let's review Deadpool. Now, Ryan Reynolds does such a great job doing this character. When I first heard it, I'm like, okay, it's going to be very hard to adapt Deadpool because Deadpool, I feel like, is such a distinct and very hard to adapt into a movie. When I saw this movie, saw this trailer and everything, I, all my worries were just <laughs> fine. Now, you got to remember, though, I was like, oh, this movie came out 2016. I was probably like 10. So I couldn't obviously watch it until later. And my humor, as I've gotten older, has been more inappropriate. And people tell me always, told me always, like, you know, if you were a superhero, you'd be Deadpool. And I said, I've never even seen that. And they wouldn't even believe me. They would just be like, no, no way. You've seen Deadpool. Shut up. But I actually have never seen Deadpool. So that's when I decided to watch the trailer and watch the movie. And guys, this movie was fucking amazing. <laughs> One of the best X-Men movies, I think. It's a great origin story. I mean, Ryan Reynolds did his best. I think this is his best. This proves that second chances are amazing. Because he went from fucking Green Lantern to this... Like, they, he even comments, like, breaking the fourth wall in this movie, he understands it, does it so well. Also, there's also a deeper story in here, too, I feel like. It's not just funny and breaking the fourth wall. It has a bunch of action sequences, pretty cool and stuff, but it also has a really good origin story. It has good, deep connection, I think, with me, because it's just, I've had inappropriate humor, and I sometimes, like, Deadpool is a character who is actually really depressed and stuff like that and just doesn't want to be who he is. Well, this is more in the comics, but he basically uses that humor to overcome his real struggles in life. And that's something I do. That's why I feel like this character was so relatable. And seeing Deadpool on screen for the first time is so cool. So cool. Action sequences are really cool. The villain, Francis, actually written pretty damn well. And I think he fits the movie's tone. I think that suits are absolutely amazing in here. I like how they also bring in the X-Men in some scenes. Like, that's just really cool to me. Um, I feel like Deadpool has always been a part of the X-Men, even though he doesn't really want to. He's still in that X-Men universe, so that they touch up on that in here, that's major respect to them. But I think the director did so good on this movie. Um, I don't think, if there was any other Deadpool movie that they created, I don't think it would be this good, because this is literally the perfect adaptation of Deadpool. Um, it's so comic accurate, like, uh, unbelievable. Like, I don't understand why this movie doesn't get more praise. Like, it's, it's very good. Like, people think it's good, but I feel like the levels of people should just be higher, because... This movie was a perfect adaptation. Like I said, this is top tier fucking Marvel movies here. And Symbol is really cool. So, otherwise, guys, that's my Deadpool movie review. A lot of action, a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to give it the Golden TV. I'm going to give it like a 68%. I recommend this movie pretty damn much to you guys. So, with that out of the way, I'm going to be reviewing Deadpool 2 tomorrow. I don't have much to say about these movies, it's just kind of quick reviews, but I will be probably be reviewing Deadpool 2 tomorrow. So, alright guys, without that out of the way, I'm so tired today, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you next time, peace.